Hello, and welcome to the fantastic world of math where we do the adding and subtracting of radical expressions. So by the end of these videos, you should be able to add and subtract radical expressions, or at least, you know, one of those. You know, try to aim low and go from there. Uh, so, make sure you write this down. Like radicals, radical expressions that can be simplified to have the same radicand. Again, radicand is the number underneath the radical symbol, so this is the radicand, that's the radic radicand, all of these are radicands. Those, this radicands, all of them. Look at that. Wasn't that beautiful? Uh, but they have to have simple, they can be simplified. So for example, 3 radical 7 and radical 7, those are like radicals. 3 radical 5 and 2 radical 20, well, it's not quite there, but we can simplify uh, this, or 2 radical 20, down to 4 radical 5, which you learned in the last video, so good for you. Um, unlike radicals are radicals that can't be simplified to have, like radicants, example, uh, 3 radical 5 and 2 radical 7. Can't do anything with those. Uh, nothing, you can't simplify radical 5 or radical 7. They just get crazy decimals. They're irrational numbers. So, there we go. Let's try some. What is the simplified form of the expression and this is it gets crazy here guys so brace yourself um, really just kind of treat this these guys as a variable we just need to add their quote unquote quote unquote coefficient so really 6 radical 11 plus or 6 square roots of 11 plus 9 square uh, roots of 11 would just be equal to 15 square roots of 11 it's, it's literally that easy I, I'm not making this up, I promise you. Um, and if you want, you can check that in your calculator if you don't believe me. Uh, but you should. I have a beard. So um, let's try the next one. This is really just one radical 7. If, and if it doesn't have that coefficient there, the number out front of it, uh, then you would just say radical 7 minus 4 radical 7. Well, 1 minus 4, and this is where some of I'm going to lose some of you, 1 minus 4 is negative 3. I know. Let that take a second. Take a moment of silence. Uh, let that sink in. Is it sunk far enough yet? I hope so. But radical 7 minus 4 radical 7 is really just negative 3 radical 7 or negative 3 square roots of 7. And that's it. That's all you have to do. So hopefully this will take a very short amount of time. But try these two. Pause the video now. Write it down in your notes and try them. I hope that took you a short amount of time and you would get 10 radical 5 and uh, 5 square roots of 3. Now, if I wanted to, I'll explain quickly fast. You don't even need to fast forward. This is 1 radical 5 and that's 9 radical 5, so that's 10 radical 5. This is 6 square roots of 3 plus 1 square root of 3 minus 2 square roots of 3 or 7 square roots of 3 minus 2 root 3 and 2 minus or 7 minus 2 is 5, and then you got to have the root 3 still there. So there you go. There's some math. Let's try a little bit more difficult. What is the simplified form of uh, 5 square roots of 3 minus square root of 48? And I know you're just, like, withering in terror over there because you don't know how, what, they don't have like radicands. Well, have no fear. We can simplify this down. What is, how do I break down 48? Well, for those of you who are fantastic at your math facts, which you should be by now, but uh, you would have 48 is equal to, the radical 48 is equal to radical 16 times radical 3. So this is really 5 root 3 minus 4 root 3, which I think maybe by now we can know that's just root 3. Or the square root of 3. It's really 1 square roots of 3. But we don't need to write the 1. Please don't write the 1. I beg of you. This one's a little bit more challenging. But not much. Uh, 125. We can break that down to be 25 times 5. So I'm going to rewrite this as negative a half square roots of 5. Minus 2 square roots of 25 times square root of 5. Or negative 2 times 5 square roots of 5 and keep going 
that would be negative 10 square roots of 5. So negative a half square roots of 5 minus 10 square roots of 5. I'm going to convert this into a fraction because fractions for the win. Uh, and we would make that negative 21 halves root 5. And that would be our final answer. So why don't we have you try one? Try, try two, even better. Try these two. I'll pause the video and wait. You done? You sure? You double checked your answer. You're really confident. All right, well, let's see. You should have gotten nine square roots of 10 and eight square roots of two. If you got that right, please stop watching instantly and go about other life activities. If you haven't, then stick around. I'll explain the things. So nine or 90, the square root of it, we can break that down. I'm going to move this guy up here. We can break that down to be the square root of nine times the square root of 10 times five plus negative six square roots of 10. And that just breaks down to five times three square roots of 10. If you can do that in your head, good. You should be able to. You shouldn't have to show this. Uh, but negative six root 10 plus 15 root 10 is equal to nine square roots of 10. Now, the second one was crazy, right? Just lots of things going on. But we kind of know by now that we can break that down to be uh, 5 square roots of 16 times the square root of 2 minus 4 square roots of 9 times the square root of 2. And this is really 5 times 4 square roots of 2 minus 4 times 3 square roots of 2, which of course, oh, whoa, whoa, what am I doing there? There's no, let me get rid of that. There we go. All right, sorry, order is restored. Uh, 5 times 4 is 20, root 2, minus 12, root 2, which is just 8 square roots of 2. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, uh, let me know, and have a great day. Bye-bye now.